Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Budget 4x4 Live. As you can see, today's going to be one of the best episodes because you guys get to hear the full 3-inch stainless steel exhaust system of the Pajero Shorty. So yeah guys, it's official. There is now a full 3-inch system available for the Mitsubishi Pajero short wheelbase and of course the long wheelbase as well. Uh, but so far, I haven't seen any exhaust kit for the short wheelbase. So I've partnered up with Outback Exhaust, which is a very common Australian exhaust business. And we finally developed this one over the last six months. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Awesome. So I just quickly want to show you, if you have a look in there, it's a three inch dump from the turbo, which is pretty good because some three inch exhaust systems only come with a two and a half inch dump into a three. But this is three straight through. Now, if you have a closer look, you can see there's an input for a temperature sensor. Now, the good thing is about the Pajero, it already comes with a EGT um, or um, exhaust temp sensor. Um, but the good thing is, is you can either extend that wire. I haven't tried it yet, but you can extend the wire into the dump pipe. Or it's good to know that you can also grab an additional temperature gauge and you can just wire up it in there because as we all know with diesels it's very important to keep an eye on your exhaust temp uh, to make sure you're not going to blow up the engine especially when towing and driving on the beach where the engine works a bit harder so when you look down a bit further you can see the catholic converter or commonly known as a cat now this cat is a 200 cell specifically designed for the diesel just to make sure it's nice and high flow and it also won't clog up over time so that is pretty good to know that it's going to last right guys so when we come to the next part this is it so this unit will go onto the nt short wheelbase models and onwards and the ns will have a dpf variant that will look a bit different so as you can see that's what that one will look like now on all the exhaust there's also inputs as you can see for all these sensors so it's just like the original and um, that will have all the sensors available as if we put back into the exhaust right guys now this is very important for all the short wheel based models that do have the dpf once you change out this unit your dpf light will come on because there is way more flow than they're supposed to be throughout the exhaust system. Now the best way this will be fixed is either you get your car tuned like I did, get more extra power especially with the exhaust and it will be happy days. Or number two, just take it to a tuner just so they can recalibrate your DPF and make sure the light doesn't come on again. So lastly is the system at the back. So there's three options. There's straight through, there's resonator and there's muffler. So I definitely recommend going muffler if you don't want to hear any sounds. Go resonator if you want a bit of a note but you don't want any drone on the highway. And then straight through if you like it loud all the time. And it does sound proper good, I must admit. So yeah, that's what you get. Right guys, we are now on the road. So finally we can hear the exhaust. Um, so basically what I'm going to do um, is just let you hear the inside first and then we'll put it on the outside just so you can see what it's like in the cabin um, but of course it's going to sound a bit different in real life but it sounds pretty good so let's go Sounds pretty good. Yeah, so it's perfect. It's um, the resonator is definitely my pick of the bunch. Um, if you want that note, but you don't want it overly loud, definitely go for the um, resonator. Straight through is gonna be. It's gonna be. Wow! It's gonna be. It's it's good. Like it's really nice, but. I'm just not sure if it's going to drone on the highway, which I think it will. Um, so yeah, definitely just keep that in mind. Otherwise, if you want to put a big muffler on it, I really don't think that's necessary. Uh, you, you won't hear anything. So you're going to have maximum airflow, but yeah, you, you definitely won't hear anything. Um, but yeah, let me strap this GoPro onto the exhaust and hopefully we can get it going. Um, and yeah, check what it sounds like. Let's go.
So this is at an idle. Awesome guys, well there you go. Hopefully the sound check went all right and you can hopefully hear some sort of what the exhaust sounds like. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But ultimately you'll have to grab one yourself just to experience the whole feeling about having a new exhaust. I really, really like it and it fits perfectly to this car. So thank you so much also for Outback Exhaust jumping on board into developing a system for the short wheelbase. They do plenty of other systems as well, guys. So if your car is here, boom, they do all of them as well so luckily for you guys all of these systems will now be on budget 4 by 4 lifecom as well i start off with mitsubishi variants only and they also asked me to reach out to you guys if there's anyone out there with a long wheelbase ns Pajero, please reach out to me so we can develop a system for you and i'll do this at cost price so um just one person please uh, get in touch with me but there's already a variant for the mc Pajero. Um, NW, NX, and there's also for the Likas and Tridents. Um, so yeah, plenty out there guys. So if you do want to grab yourself one, make sure to jump onto budget 4 by 4 lifecom and um, yeah, grab yourself one as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, make sure to drop it down below guys and I'll be happily uh, answering them for you. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.